over a hundred requests on my Instagram DMs. So as you can tell, my skate sports have been getting a lot of attention on Instagram. And I just want to give a few disclaimers on what's going to happen next. So there are going to be new conditions now with the skate supports. So I'm pretty much ditching the whole Google form. It's just a lot easier if I can go on Instagram and just reply in there because I don't really like have to use it for a video. I can just use it if I want to. So I think I'm just going to move it all to Instagram. So sorry about anybody who submitted their uh, Google form skate supports. Just send me a DM and I'll try to get to it if I can. And then another condition is I know some people aren't comfortable with me using their clips on my YouTube channel. So there are going to be conditions just to kind of like benefit me from actually doing the skate supports because I am doing these for free pretty much. So if you don't want me to use it in a YouTube video, you have to give me some form of shout out on Instagram. It can just be a quick like, hey, like go follow Sean's channel, just something like that. So I can get some benefit out of it because I've helped I'd say probably over a thousand people by now on Instagram. I've been starting since January and I've been replying to those Instagram DMs every day pretty much. And it's just been a lot and I just, you know, I kind of want some way to benefit off it. Now, if you will allow me to use it on YouTube like I'm about to do now, um, you don't really have to do anything. You can just message to me and I'm going to possibly use it in a video and I might let you know that I'm doing that. So since there are so many, um, I just wanna say like, thank you guys so much. Like I really like helping you guys. It's just a lot now. I didn't really expect it to be this much when I first started the skate supports. Um, so just know now they're not gonna be as fast a response for me only because I'm just a lot really busy with other stuff. So I am gonna try to, you know, keep going to them and do them off of the channel too. But I'm just gonna say like, it's not gonna be as fast as kind of like I'm used to doing them. So yes, by the title of this video, this is going over some ollies uh, based on the skate sports that I've seen. Um, specifically, I kinda wanna go over the timing with ollies. Hopefully I can get some attempts that actually, you know, show a little bit of incorrect timing, but I'm gonna go over that in this video. So if you wanna send in a skate support, just uh, send a message to me on Instagram. It's SeanBrown99, so make sure you follow me in there. And also, if you wanna see more videos like this or skate tips, all the other videos I make with skateboarding, please hit the subscribe button and also the post notification button too. So you can actually get notified when I post, uh, just because you know, you know, if you don't wanna miss a video, just make sure you do that. So I found one and basically on this, what I noticed is that if you look closely at the attempt, uh, the person is not really bending their knees when trying this trick. They're pretty much going straight into the pop and that kind of, you know, deals with the timing of the trick. Uh, for me, I really think the timing is not really pop slide jump like everybody says, right? I even said that in my own video. Um, but I think the timing is more of like, you know, you have to really make sure you bend your knees first, right? So you're bending your knees and then you're gonna start to go up and you know, that's kind of like part of the jump, but you're not really jumping, you're just unbending your knees, right? And then you're popping, but you're not just popping, um, straight you're popping while you're jumping so a lot of people say like pop slide jump right i say pop while you're jumping up in the air so basically squat down first right and then start to jump make sure you're pressing down on your tail as you jump that's the main thing and then you're sliding pretty much slightly after the thing is with the ollie it's just really hard to get the time down because they're all really fast together but I would say it's more of like a bend your knees, start to go up. So basically jump as you pop and then slide your foot, like your front foot up to the nose and then tuck your knees up. That is like the main thing for the timing. So just keep that in mind. Yeah, so I guess like other things I can kind of say about this is when you're jumping, really make sure that you tuck your knees up too. Cause if you look closely at the feet, the legs are staying very straight when jumping and that kind of lowers your height. So think of it like this, when you tuck your knees up higher, the bottom of your foot gets higher in the air. So basically that's the way to like jump higher is to tuck your knees up. So pretty much I would say just work on that timing, which is, uh, you know, make sure you bend your knees first, popping as you jump. And then for the last step as you're sliding, just really make sure you tuck those knees up. Also two quick things I wanna say before I jump into the next attempt. So when you send me a DM on Instagram asking for me to help you with a trick, don't ask me like, can you help me with this trick? Because by the time I get to your message, I could have helped you with the trick if you just sent the video from the start. So don't really, you don't really have to ask that. Like, just make sure you give some context when you send the video first, uh, just so I like I know, you know, what you're struggling with. But don't just send the message to me asking if you know I can help you because you know, like I said, by the time I got to the message, I could have gave the answer to you when I got to it. And then also with some of my advice. Um, I do repeat myself a lot. So if you haven't seen some of my tutorials, make sure you search my tutorials first before you send me attempts. 
um, on Instagram. And then also check my Instagram page because I'm starting to do uh, like quick tips on some tricks that like I go over like a quick tip um, that usually can help people learn a trick that they're struggling with. So make sure you check those first before you message me because most of the time I'm either going to like redirect you to the video first or to that quick tip. Okay, so for this next one, what I noticed with the ollie is this person can get actually like height in the air with their ollie, but I think they're trying to level it out more. So if you look closely at this attempt, um, when they slide their foot, right, they're sliding it, but their knee is pretty much going straight upwards. So if you want to try to slide your ollies out more and level them out, you really have to try to extend your knee outwards as you slide. So. It's kind of like, you know, it may, might be easier said than done, but really just focus on like, like if you're regular, which is like your left foot forward, make sure you like try to slide your left foot outwards towards the left more as you're sliding, right? And then if you're goofy, you wanna slide your right foot outwards towards the right more. Because if you look at this video, the knee is pretty much going straight up, which is not really causing it to level up. It, you know, causes the board to almost go here. So it's like, you know, you're just raising your knee up versus if you push it, you're actually like kind of pushing it forward. So pretty much just for this one, I would say make sure you're just like extending your knee outwards as you try to slide on the board. Okay, so for this next one, someone asked me a similar question. They want to get their Ollie a little more leveled out than what they have. Um, so basically it's the same kind of advice. Make sure you're actually like extending your, your knee outwards. That's really all you can kind of do. Sometimes you can even think of it as like jumping forward as you do the trick. Sometimes that might help level out more. So like kind of like, I guess like shove your whole body like and scoot it with your feet as you're sliding the trick. So just kind of like make sure you use your feet and knees to extend it outward so that you're not just raising your knees straight up so it kind of rockets. And something else I noticed that with this attempt is that the board kind of turned to the left if you look closely. And that's because uh, the person opened up their shoulders as they did the trick. So just know like anytime you do a trick, if you turn your shoulders, what's gonna happen is that you know, you're opening up your waist too. So the board is gonna turn in that direction slightly. So really make sure you keep your shoulders parallel with the skateboard so it doesn't turn. Um, something else you could do that kind of like helps with it is you can like cr uh, cross your arms like an X when you crouch down, right? But when you go up for the actual trick that you're doing, kind of make like a T pose with your arms and it kind of like just forces you to keep your shoulders straight and in line with the board. So pretty much for that, all I can say is the same thing, like extend your knee out for this ollie um, and then, you know, make sure you keep your shoulders straight to, you know, kind of get it clean over time. But that was pretty good to start with. So on this next one, it also deals with timing. If you look closely at this attempt, um, the person pretty much just tried to pop the board without really bending down or like they just kept their knees straight. And like I said before, it's just really important to make sure you pop as you jump when you do the trick because if you look closely, they just went straight into the popping without jumping. It's pretty much, you know, trying to jump after. You wanna make sure you're popping as you jump to make sure you maximize your height. And then also uh, with the sliding, really make sure that you also try to slide your knee outwards. Similar to the other attempts, uh, the person's knee just went straight up. Really just make sure you just extendo that front knee so uh, you can actually get it to slide out and level out more. But yeah, otherwise, um, on some attempts, I see like the slide didn't really make contact with it. And just know that's perfectly fine with ollies if you're just starting out. Because the thing with ollies is, it's really hard to get that bending of your ankle motion when trying this trick. So I really recommend, you know, just holding your tail down and then sliding and bending your ankle in that motion just to get used to it, just cause it's so weird. So you really just have to get used to that motion. It is really tough, uh, but I say just work on that too. And overall they should come better, like with more practice and time. You just gotta be really patient with ollies. Okay, so for this attempt, what I noticed with this uh, ollie attempt is that the person pretty much tried to like jump too fast before popping and this is pretty common with ollies. Really just make sure that like you put enough pressure down so you can actually get a pop before you jump. And I know I said before like you're popping as you're jumping and that might be like really tough to get down. But really just make sure you also put enough pressure down on the tail when you're popping to you know make sure it actually touches the ground while you're jumping as you pop. And then I got multiple attempts, but on that first one, um, they, they slid their foot up, but their knee didn't actually tuck up in the air. It just kind of like went straight outwards and that's not really gonna help with the height. You wanna also make sure that you tuck your knee up as you're sliding. Like you pretty much wanna be sliding almost in a diagonal line. So you wanna slide outwards, like I said, extending your knee, but you also wanna make sure you also like bend your knee upwards. So pretty much going a diagonal line upwards and out 
That's pretty much the best way to slide an ollie just to make sure it kind of levels out and gets height. Also, one thing I noticed with the foot position is sometimes the back foot's angled a little outwards away from the tail. I would say make sure you like, you have your toes pointing out straight pretty much. Like just imagine you're standing on the board regularly. You wanna make sure that like toes are pointing straight outwards. You don't really wanna have them angled in any direction for the ollie, just because it helps you pop it straight down more. And then also really just make sure that you're using your toes and the balls of your feet and put it near the center of the tail and don't have it hang off too much uh, because that will give you more control on the ollie pretty much. Okay, so for this last one, it is kind of similar with timing again. Um, so basically this person did bend their knees first, right? And they went up, but there was like a slight pause before they actually popped. So I felt like there was like a slight second where they were just standing straight up and then trying to pop. So like I was saying before, really make sure that you try to pop your ollies while you're jumping. Don't really either do them straight leg or while your knees are still bent. You wanna bend your knees first and start to go up and pop as you jump. That's just really important. Just remember anything from this video, it is to pop while you jump. And then lastly, it kind of goes like the other videos too. If you want to level your ollies out more, really just make sure you're extending that knee outwards. Because if you kind of look at this video, it looks like the knee is pretty much just going straight up. It doesn't really look like it's going out too much um, or like as much as it could have. So really just make sure you extend your knee outwards as you do your ollies. So one last thing I noticed is kind of like the foot position. So with your back foot, you really want to make sure that your toes are on the center of the tail. It looks like the toes in this video are hanging off a little bit. And you don't want to be popping with the whole bottom of your foot. You want to make sure that you're popping with your toes and the balls of your feet. So you really want to be on your toes for this trick because I feel like that's really what gives you leverage on the ollie. Especially even when you're like um, sliding your foot up. You want most of your like just your toes to be on the board so you actually can like slide the whole side of your foot up and, and have more leverage with bending your ankle. I don't really know too much. You just kind of like got to experiment but that's really what helps me just being on my toes for the ollie. That's just one thing I take into account when trying this trick. Okay y'all, so that was it for the skate supports. Sorry I can't do the Google Forms anymore. Just make sure you hit me up on Instagram. I do have a lot of messages on there, so please be patient. It may take a while for me to get to your messages because there's a lot of people that need help with their skateboarding, but I wanna make sure I keep helping y'all with your skateboarding. So make sure you follow me on Instagram at SeanBrown99. Make sure you also like, comment, and subscribe. Also turn on those post notifications if you wanna see more videos like this and get notified about them. Otherwise than that, thank you guys so much for being awesome subscribers and viewers. Seriously, thank you so much guys. Like the channel is just taking off from you know where it used to be. So I just really appreciate that so much. See you guys in the next one. Peace.